I'm Anat, and together with my partner Ehud, we do community art in Israel and all over the world. We were supposed to come to Ziegen to do a community art piece as part of the exhibition Speaking Art, our collection of 30 years of children and youth art that is exhibiting now in Ziegen. That was supposed to be done live in Ziegen. But as you know, Corona times secluded us in our countries. We tried this creative solution of Zoom collage, and it worked. 100 paintings put together into one big creation of art communication. Asking the great question, what do we want for our future after the corona? The German kids dialogued with the Israelis through the exhibition. The Israeli participants just thought about that question about the future, the outcome, a beautiful artistic whole composition of 100 great pieces of making one art piece, the Speaking Art Collage. Each and every one of us is a unique being. Together we form a colorful, wonderful globe. Sophie Scheffler is 15 years old. Sophie communicated with the painting of Mor Shalit, her self-portrait drawn on, an, on a map of Israel. Uh, Sophie said she used this method, and in her picture, her self-portrait is on her homeland, Germany. She says it fits the corona situation, uh, that now that nobody can leave their home country, and even though you cannot leave your home country. She is looking and glimpsing at the rest of the world and finds friendships and bonds through the painting. She said that she wants to send a specifically greeting to Mor Shalit, that she is on her drawing and cannot leave her country, but even though she smiles at the world. She says, my picture as well is a greeting to the world. It's a very beautiful trip to the unknown. And we see that at the end of it, we all are people. And no matter what borders are made, we can still communicate with each other. Julian Spindler is 16 years old. He's a young artist from Germany. He says that in his picture, he wants to paint the world, a beautiful, happy world. This picture is a free, happy impression of the world around us. And the technique he uses is marvelous, very artistic. It shows a field of barley with thistle, cornflower, and margaritas, various in insects, and uh, in the center of the piece is a bird, the wren. At the background, you can see wooded hills crowned by a castle. This composition is so harmonious and beautiful, so if this was the future, I think every one of us would like to be there. Mor Elsner is 15. She's from Israel, from Kfar Vitkin. Kfar Vitkin is a little village near Chofit where we live and in the Emek Hefer area. The future after the corona, says Mor, she wants the world to invest its energy in developing the economy and stopping the global warming. Mor is using the golden mean to express this in her picture. 
You can see at the bottom there is solar energy use. In the middle there is renewable energy, wind energy. And up above a clear fresh sky, blue sky, clean because of this energy use. Because of using renewable energy. I think this young lady really wants to save the world. This photo collage by Matthias Enchani, 17 years old, of the topic The Kiss, is a composition that relates to art history. The artist Magritte, a surrealist artist, drew a kiss between two people covered with a piece of cloth. Here in Chani and Matthias' composition, they are hiding behind a photo of a kiss, a photo that is the cover of a music album, like the kiss is masked. They are reaching out for connection. The song of this group, The Culture Beat, the song is called The Strawberry Mouth, is a love song. This is a romance behind a mask, reaching out for love. It's very symmetric and harmonious composition, form-wise and color-wise. Let's hope that the future will be full of unmasked love. Gaia Spack is from Emek Hefer, she's 15 years old. And this picture is a yearning for having a normal life. Summer life in Israel means going to the beach, going to the sea, bathing in swimming pools, going to water parks. This is the fun for children. So Gaia wishes that the future, after the corona, the water parks and pools should open already. As you can see, these people are bathing in the pool. The design is very interesting in this repetitive forms of people and water rings. They are staring, they are looking at us like in a theater show. Very decorative approach. Nico Varelas from Germany is relating to Ayal Zakin, a fruit stand in the market. Ayal Zakin drew it while he was 13. Today he's already 35 and he's a teacher in the Betzalel Academy of Art. In Ayal's composition, you see a man offering beautiful fruits. In Nico's composition, you see he's actually buying and connecting physically. We see the similarities of these topics, these everyday tasks, this everyday market time, that through them is a connection between people. Dorothea is 11, she's from Germany. Dorothea related to the picture Flowers for a Nut, which Yael Tour, one of my students, painted as a present to me. Dorothea communicated with it as she had painted a vase with a rainbow as a plant jumping out of it. The rainbow is a symbol for freedom and plants are good for the world, says Dorothea. This is an offering of a blessing to our world through this painting of this little young 11-year-old girl, Dorothea.
Leni Marx from Germany is nine years old. She was inspired by Gal Levhar's painting of the Burning Globe. In her explanation, she says that she drew a tree because she thought that through the painting she could pass a message that it's already stupid to cut down trees and use them for different things. Because we breathe through the trees, she said, meaning we need them for the ecosystem to have clear air in our world. She did a beautiful harmonious composition of a plant with a rainbow springing out of it very symmetrically, very beautiful, right into the blue sky. This is a picture painted by Alma Simon Gilad. She's 14. She's dreaming about performing again with her choir, with her friends. She drew herself with purple hair, because that's what she wants to do after the corona, to dye her purple, and her two friends in the choir clothes performing again. In Emek Hefer, we have a very grand tradition of singing. We have two wonderful choirs, the Ephroni Choir and the Moran Choir. The singing is very developed here in Emek Hefer, and I truly recommend everybody to come here and to hear the concerts live. This painting depicts those three little girls in the choir clothes, just looking at you, inviting you to come here. Let's hope the corona will end and we will be able to meet again. <laughs>